Hey guys. Hey, today we wanted to talk about life insurance. Be sure to like and subscribe, guys. Um, this is something that every expat I know that comes over here, almost all of them come over here without, uh, without any life insurance. A good chunk of them, probably over 50%. It's something that you, it's like a must have over here, guys. I've seen so many people die over here and it just leaves a mess for your family. You know, it leaves a huge mess. You need something like twenty a $25,000 whole life policy will go a long way over here. You want to get term life, that's up to you. If you think you can, if you think you're going to die before the term is over, eh, that's great. It'll work. Maybe it'll work for you. But if, if, if you outlive your term policy, then where are you? You know what I mean? You have... You have more expensive insurance then. So that's why I say like the whole life policy, guys, you know, if you get a whole, there's all different types of whole life policy. Make sure it's going to last you till the day you die. Okay. And some of these policies, you can pull it out, like just as you're about to reach the end and just put it in the bank if you want so that your, your family has the money there. You know what I mean? You can, you can take out all that money if, if you don't want to, you know, wait till you die or whatever. If you want your family to have it in advance to put it in an account for you, you can do it that way too. So it kind of acts like a savings, you know, like it's kind of like a savings bank. <laughs> That's what it is. You know, it's like, it's like having a savings account for, for death, you know? But anyway, guys, I wanted to discuss that because I've actually seen and gone through things over here where I had a, I had a friend pass away over here and he, he had a pace pacemaker and he, he went to the hospital and he stepped out of the hospital to go grab something to eat or something. He said he wanted to leave. They, the hospital told him, no, 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 no. You have a problem with your battery. You can't, you shouldn't leave here. You need to be around here so we can, we can watch you. And he was kind of stubborn. And anyway, he got to the, to the mall where the food was and he suddenly had a heart attack there. And it was a mess after that. I'll do, you know, I won't even go into the details. I'll just say it was at least two weeks in before we got, we got him buried properly. You know, and it was just, I can't state enough how bad it got. It was between, I mean, there was police involved. There was everybody and everybody wanted to get involved. Let's just put it that way. And... You know, he had a girlfriend involved. It was, it was just, I don't, it would take me about an hour to tell you the whole story. That's how bad, how bad the story got. But he had no money to be, get, to get buried. And, it, and his, his, they, we had to, I had to call his, I had to make phone calls to his family and stuff like that and get in touch with him and let them know that, you know, he had passed away. And fortunately, he had started a process where he was going to put me in charge of taking care of him if he had passed away because he was he was older and he kind of knew that he was going to go. But he says, well, I don't plan on going right away, so we don't have to do all this right now. But hey, I'll give you this information here. He gave me a little bit of the information. Thank God he did because that's what helped us find people in his family. So anyway, long story story short. He ended up getting buried up in up in the Subic Bay area, and they, they the v, the VFW up there helped us get everything taken care of. And um, his the, the guy's son called over here and got in touch with the the VFW to help us to get the embassy down here to get that body out of the out of the mess that it was in. You know because. <laughs> That body caused a lot of mess here because everybody's saying, well, we can't release it. We can't do this. We can't do that. This is why you got to have somebody over here, guys, feet on the ground, somebody you trust that will take care of you. And yes, there are Filipinos that you can trust. Okay. Um, to, most guys, you know, there's a lot of guys over here say, well, you can't trust Filipinos. They're, you know, you, you, no, you can. You can in some cases. And I'm not being unrealistic here. There's a lot of good Filipinos here too, okay? You just gotta find the right Filipino that you can trust. You'll you'll find them, you'll know when. And you know, just don't trust anybody, you know, out there, okay? Um, usually it's somebody older. 
somebody that you know has become your friend or whatever and say hey listen would you do me a favor and, and do this here for me you know if i ever pass away god forbid i'll tell everybody to you know contact you or whatever you're my best friend or whoever they may be okay and leave them a little bit of money too you know for doing what they're doing for taking care of you in the end and you know and there's other ways to, you know you can you can do it too you could have people call somebody back home if, if they're willing to fly over here and take care of you you know however you want to do it it's not just my way okay i there's many ideas about this but i just want to speak to that because most expats don't care about when they die you know they dropped in the street and they got thrown in the gutter i don't think half of them would care you know i, I don't know why they're like that but they are but anyway, guys, I just want to cover that because it's an important item that people leave off the, you know, they, they, they leave off their checkoff list or whatever when they come over here. They just don't think like it's a big deal. Like when they die, when they're dead, they're dead. That's the, that's the way they look at it, you know. But anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope that helps a little bit. And be sure to get life insurance before you come over here. That's a key. It's a key item. You need it. Seriously, guys. Take care.